G'day folks, I'm vlogging on my A7 IV and my 24105 and while I'm happy, whilst I'm happy with the picture profile off and S-Log settings on this camera, I still want to tweak my dedicated wedding picture profile which is Cine 2 and movie colours and I'm hoping after this vlog is the last test for this picture profile. So let's get into it. Okay, in the last video, I compared side by side uh, some picture profiles from the a7 III, a7 IV and Sony's a7S III. And I have been using my Cine 2 and movie colors, my special wedding picture profile on the a7 III for many years. So that's why it looks a little bit better, I thought. It's, it's had that time to develop and tweak and I can see kind of what nuance, maybe it's either too green or too magenta and I've had time over the years to fix that and to tweak it. So, I noticed the a7 IV, which is what I'm vlogging on now, just handheld with Active Steve. I noticed a few things. I noticed it was consistently green. And also the a7 III did have a darker black point. So, I've changed those settings. I have added a phase and also darkened the black a little bit. And I also noticed that Cine 2 does expose a little bit hot because I use auto exposure a lot, especially in weddings. It comes in handy for the unmanned camera. And I noticed it did expose a little bit hot, especially when I put up this picture. I noticed, okay, on the day those zebras were letting me know that it wasn't overexposed, but it did look overexposed on the computer. So I've added that to my tweaks when using Cine 2 and movie colors. So now, this should look better. And if it doesn't, this is not the last vlog using this picture profile then, is it? So let's run through what the changes are and what are the exact settings I'm using today. Okay, so I lowered my blacks by one. I added some phase. If you, if you add phase, it goes towards magenta. If you decrease it, it goes green. And this was showing up consistently green, which may just be my camera, like a copy variant. Or it may be across all the A7-4s. We don't know, let me know in the comments. Okay, so those are the two main changes. And then if you pair that up, with my other suggestions about shooting in like standard modes. It's not really standard modes, it's a bad word for it. Um, Rec 709 modes. So in my previous video where we went to the zoo, I talked about how to best shoot on the standard modes. And that is you put your zebras on 100 plus and you just protect your highlights. And it really is that easy. It's much easier than shooting with S-Log 3, so don't believe what people are telling you online. So, and there's one more thing to the equation, and that's it, it's gonna be a quick video. So Zebra's on 100 plus, but then if you're using auto exposure, so that's handy for vlogs, events, and the second camera, of course, for weddings. And you know what, to be honest, I just use it all, all the time. Uh, auto exposure, and I watch my exposure compensation dial. Actually, let's just turn the shutter speed down a little bit. The last ingredient is, I just put it down to say, minus 0.3, and that way, I let the camera do all the heavy lifting and I'm protecting the highlights, keeping an eye on those zebras and constantly I think a little bit darker might solve this slight overexposure problem and then you have a complete profile and I'm hoping I already advance to the levels I had on the a7 III which on the last video was surprisingly good and consistent don't you think? Okay, this is a rushed video and I don't care because I just want this one up as my last Cine 2 and Movie Colors vlog. And one little tip actually, I'm hand holding this and it's a long lens, it's the 24105. And because it sticks out a little bit, you think that's where you are at the end of the lens, but you're not. You're still at the picture plane. So if you hold the lens um, itself, which is not recommended by some vloggers, it is actually still extending my arm out quite a lot. And like I said, it's the picture plane that's registering my image, not the front of the lens. So you hold the lens and you get yourself a bit of reach. This is 24 on active stage, so it's probably like 26. Anyway, I hope you find this useful. I'm really surprised that none of this... I mean, it sounds funny to say, let me just change hands. Don't worry, I'd be weak no matter what I was vlogging on. To be honest, I find it 
mind boggling that these videos aren't getting traction because I've had like seven years wedding experience and it's weird it's some universe thing or am I being shadow banned on YouTube or is it just a general universe vibe thing like Phil can just get stuck and I'm giving it away for free and I used to be precious about this stuff so yeah I feel my valuable experience is being underappreciated but you know that's fine I've stopped telling people what to do and I can just recommend some settings and then you can go off and listen to other YouTubers like Gerald Undone and only do things in S-Log. Anyway, that's it for today. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. All right, bye.